All right. Uh, we, uh, the question A here, he said, define the mass defect, define the mass, uh, the, define the binding energy. Okay, this one you can find in the lecture note. Okay, in my previous video, I already explained about this mass defect and binding energy. Okay, let us look at B. A mass of aurum has a nucleus of mass uh, 196.99, uh, Atomic mass unit. Okay, this is the U. Uh, determine the mass defect and binding energy. Okay, so uh, look carefully. This one, he give the mass in atomic mass unit. Uh, okay, and this is an aurum. Okay, aurum is a goal. Uh, we want to find. Okay, he give the mass of nucleus. Okay, this is the mass of the nucleus. Okay, this one is about uh, nuclear nuclear physics yeah uh, so only the nucleus not the atom okay determine the mass defect okay so uh, to find the mass defect we must know how many proton and how many neutron forming the nucleus of aurum okay so maybe let us uh, write down the equations so for from here we can see at the atomic number is 79 so we know that there are 79 proton plus how many neutron? Uh, how many neutron is just take the 197. 197, the mass number minus the 79. What do you get? Uh, 17. Oh, sorry. Uh, hold on a second. Uh. 179. Eh, no, no. 197 minus 79. So I get 118. Uh, there are 118 neutron. Okay, 118 neutron. So 118 neutron, you get an uh, aurum nucleus. Right? Aurum nucleus. So uh, to find the mass defect, we just take the mass of these uh, mass of these nucleons. Okay, these are the nucleons. Okay, in uh, the constituent nucleons before combined. Minus the nucleus. Uh, this is the nucleus. Understand? Uh, yeah, add up the mass of all the nucleons minus the mass of nucleus. We know that the mass of um, we know that the mass of nucleons is more than mass of nucleus. Okay, definitely more. Yeah, we take the so we take the big minus the small. Yeah. Okay, so just uh, okay, it is given. Uh, all the mass in atomic mass unit, as you can see here, the mass in U, uh, the mass of proton also U, mass of uh, mass of the neutron, mass of neutron also in atomic mass unit. So, uh, so all of all the unit become atomic mass unit, yeah, atomic mass unit. So seventy nine multiply mass of proton is uh, just uh, substitute all the value, yeah. Substitute all the value uh, in atomic mass unit. Uh, if not SI unit, if not SI unit, you must write down the unit here. Okay. If if SI unit, you don't need to write the unit. If uh, not if none SI unit, you must write down the unit. Yeah. Uh, if you don't write down the none SI unit, you uh, we will minus mark. Okay. Uh, then uh, one one eight uh, neutron. Neutron is one point zero zero eight. Uh, six six four. This actually this uh, mass of proton and mass of neutron you can find in the list of constant. Yeah, list of constant we provide the mass of proton, neutron, uh, electron. Okay. Uh, okay. U. Okay. Uh, minus the mass of aurum itself, which is a one nine six point. Very very long. Uh, very very lengthy. Uh, but it, it is like that. Alright. So maybe just let me drag over here a bit. Yeah. I don't want to disturb the other part. Okay. So uh so what is the answer you get? Yeah. Let me calculate and see. Okay. So the answer uh I calculated is uh after minus I get one point six three zero uh, 613 U. Uh, okay, maintain as many decimal places as possible because uh, for this chapter, 
uh, we need a very very accurate um, answer yeah if not uh, the uh, if you don't maintain as many decimal places as possible the answer is not so accurate okay uh, so uh, that's the answer okay uh, in atomic mass unit you also can convert to kilogram okay convert to kilogram by um, how to how to convert to kilogram uh, you multiply by remember you uh, how do you um, convert to kilogram okay so still remember how do you convert from atomic mass unit to kilogram uh, so this is the one lah. Uh, if you want to convert atomic mass unit to kilogram you multiply by 1.66 exponent negative 27 uh, exponent because one atomic mass unit is 1.66 uh, negative 27 kilogram okay so you just multiply by this uh, multiply multiply 1.66 exponent negative 27 kilogram so you can uh, either leave the answer in kilogram or you can leave the answer in atomic mass unit uh, normally it's encouraged to leave the answer in uh, SI unit lah okay uh, but some we also accept the atomic mass unit okay we also accept so the answer in fact is in atomic mass unit uh, is correct Okay, it is correct. Uh, we accept atomic mass unit or kilogram. If you convert to kilogram, uh, definitely we accept because it is SI unit. Uh, this is SI unit. Definitely we accept the answer in SI unit kilogram. So now, uh, now we want to find the binding energy. Binding energy, um, uh, you are... Uh, Okay, again, uh, what I want to say is uh, this mass defect, you can either the unit in atomic mass unit or kilogram. The binding energy, you can either leave the answer in uh, uh, this uh, mega electron volt or joule. Uh, because, because, um, because we have several units for mass, we have atomic mass unit, we have kilogram. For energy, we have uh, mega electron volt, electron volt or joule. Uh, so you can leave the answer in all this unit, in all this unit. But we always encourage students to convert to the SI unit lah. Uh, yeah, we always convert, uh, encourage students to convert to SI unit. But if you leave the answer in other unit like atomic mass unit or mega electron volt, we also accept. Okay, we also accept. Okay, uh, by the way, if you look at here, if you look at here, since the uh, mass defect already in atomic mass unit, okay, so the energy also we can do the shortcut. Uh, we can convert the uh, from U directly to not MeV, okay, MeV because we know that uh, we know that one U is uh, one U is nine three one point five. One U is nine three one point five mega electron volt. So you no need to use mc square, huh? Uh, actually, uh, we already calculated for you one U, one U has energy around nine three one point five mega electron volt. We already calculated for you uh, using the formula at e equal to m c square. Uh, so right now you can straight away um, to convert atomic mass unit to MeV. You straight away just multiply nine three one point five, okay, to get the energy straight away. So uh, let's calculate. Since we already have the answer, the mass defect in atomic mass unit U, we can straight away find the binding energy in MeV. Uh, okay. So let's find out. So our binding energy is uh, straight away just take uh, the atomic mass unit, uh, the, the mass defect. Um, okay, six three zero, six one three U. Straight away multiply by. Uh, straight away just multiply by. Um, Multiply by uh, 931.5 um, Okay uh, MeV over per one atomic mass unit because we know that we know that uh, atom one atomic mass unit will release this amount of energy Okay, release this amount of energy. So how about this amount of atomic mass unit? Uh, so we just not multiply 931.5 Okay, so we can uh, cancel the U here and uh, afterward we multiply. Okay, after we multiply, yeah, punch our calculator and what do we get? So, okay, 
afterward uh, we uh, multiply and we got the answer in okay let's uh, let's check the answer um, okay you will get the answer um, okay it is a one five one eight point nine two uh, mega electron volt okay uh, is the answer correct uh, 1518.92 mega electron volt yes that's correct okay uh, if you want to convert to joule uh, then you uh, if you if the question asks you to con ask you the energy in joule okay uh, what you do is um, okay what you do is uh, you just uh, to convert mev to joule what you do is just uh, multiply multiply electron uh, multiply mega ah multiply multiply electron charge multiply mega you surely can get the unit in joule uh, this joule is in si unit uh, okay so uh, like this lah i already taught you last time yeah mev to joule multiply mega multiply electron electron charge okay uh, so you get the answer in joule okay so that's all okay okay let's move on to the next questions